morning, guys. Looks like it's raining today. So I guess it's story time. Today I'm going to discuss self-talk. Somebody that I've followed in the industry for a while put on Twitter yesterday that he had been having these conversations with himself where he was quite critical of the fact that in 10 years he hadn't achieved as much as everybody else around him and that he was quite abusive with himself and he told his mom and his mom said to him you know do you speak like that to people around you and he went no so she said well then why are you talking to yourself that way and i think a lot of people have felt this and i'm really glad for him that he's realized this now there's two things there one is that you really shouldn't be comparing yourself to other people we're all on our own journey and on our own path and it's too easy to be so self-critical by looking at the successes of other people what you should be doing is looking at their success and instead of being jealous or angry or anything else just be inspired or even better just be happy for them but then the other thing is the self-talk and this kind of abusive nature that we have and we've probably all done it our whole lives because nobody ever corrected us this internal voice can be quite abusive we should be least abusive to ourselves and that's where we need to start having some really positive self dialogue and you should always speak to yourself in a very kind and gentle way now i was very fortunate when i was about 39 years old my life wasn't where i thought i wanted it to be and i felt like everything was falling apart around me and i just wasn't really happy but one day i don't know if i read it i can't even i can't actually even remember right now but I stumbled upon this thought that ultimately the only person responsible for your own happiness is you. With that in mind, I started to really reevaluate my life and I started fixing my life. Life is always going to have its ups and downs. But the one thing that we can always try and do at least is be gentle with ourselves. The other thing is to live your own life and that's crucially important. So there are other people who are going to be born with more than you or have more luck than you, do things better than you. It's just the way things are. To try and figure that out I think would just be silly. I think what you should do is just accept where you are set the intention for where you want to be and go for that don't let anything get in your way the last thing you should be doing is abusing yourself along the way doing certain things to build yourself up and have some positive self-talk is crucially important for self-development something that i do on the regular is I do affirmations. It's just so that I can rather have positive speak and self-talk and self-reassurance rather than allowing all this negative stuff. Now, I'm not the only one who feels this way. There's a great YouTuber and comedian and she's like a singer and all these things. Anna Connor, I'll link her below, but she spoke about this horrible voice that tells her to want to give in and kill herself and everything and I've had that same thing and I still have this voice and I still have these thoughts but the difference is when I catch myself doing that now I nip it in the butt and I try and think of something more positive and the more I listen to positive thoughts and tell myself how much I love myself and how valuable I am and everything and I don't care if somebody says to me well you're creating some sense of delusion that's okay with me it's my life and I would rather have positive talk than abusive self-talk so guys stay happy don't compare be gentle with yourself love yourself my name is Craig Jameson thanks for watching subscribe like leave a comment and stay cool something that i have been considering doing is affirmations for designers and i'm not sure how that'll go down but i'm really interested in doing it so if anybody's got any sort of feedback or any self-talk that they have as a creative or as a designer that they'd like me to address please let me know but i am going to try this and i don't mind if i fail but i want to know that i attempted to Try and say some things that would really resonate with people who have 
the same sort of self-doubt and self-abuse and safe temperament as I do as a creative and as a designer.